everybody. As you know, Apex Media is hanging out at Apex Expo this week in Boston. And right now, I'm on the stand of Astronix, which is a longtime player in this industry. Tons of innovations on this stand for the passenger experience. Thank you for joining us, John. Well, thank you for having us. We're happy to be here. Great. Um, so we're going to talk about three really cool innovations that Astronix is displaying on the booth right now. Yes, uh, absolutely. So we're very known for power and also for data and connectivity. Mm -hmm. So we have innovations in our power side, we have innovations in some of our connections, and also in our data. And so that's probably what we're here first to talk about is our smart aircraft system, uh, bringing new data onto the aircraft through the application of IoT sensors right. and bringing that new data into a very practical applications for our in-flight experience. Yeah, because I feel like IoT is one of these things like, yeah, we've got these sensors, we've got this capability, then what's the best way to use it that's going to that's gonna make sense? Practical application, like you said. Right, there's a lot of um, information out there from different people about, well, we're playing with this technology, or playing with that. Yeah. So we've actually been playing with that, you might say, for about five plus years. So mm -hmm. we invested in a lot of technology and even some patents around some of the applications that we're doing. Mm -hmm. But um, we're really happy with where we ended up, which is really some practical applications. And one of those here is our in, uh, bin sensing technology, which actually gives us live information, real-time information about the status of the bins. Right. How full are they? Uh, where's the remaining bin space? Even things like temperature and uh, detection of chemicals and smoke and fire from the bins. Mm -hmm. We can actually do all that in real time, available to provide that information to the crew. And I think it helps uh, speed up turnaround time a lot, doesn't it? Because the, the flight crew can sort of look on a device or maybe on the, the CMS system in the cabin, the cabin management system, and see where the bin space is available, even if the bin is closed. That's absolutely true. Yeah. So uh, connecting the information is wirelessly collected into a uh, server that we provide, mm -hmm. and that server sits on the aircraft and then can provide that data wirelessly within right. the cabin to the flight crew, and also we can get that data off the aircraft uh, post-flight, or given connectivity in flight, we can get it off the, through that way. Uh, and that just helps the airline get all sorts of data analytics and yeah. things around how are the uh, different bo boarding profiles, are they effective, are they not effective? Right. And also, for things like those late arriving passengers, like, oh my goodness, where's the bin space? And so, you hey, know. you can direct them, you know. Yeah. Even when the bins are closed, you know where the bin space is, because it's right there in front of the hands of, of the flight attendants. So I bet there's a lot of airlines here who are super interested in that one. We are getting a lot of interest, yeah. absolutely. And uh, we actually are working with um, some key airline customers of ours that mm -hmm. are actually evaluating this technology. Uh, some of them in their, in their labs, and we're looking to do uh, some in-service trials uh, beginning next year. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on, let's talk a little bit about charging, what Astronix is really famous for, power. Power, yes. <sighs> uh, so the uh, two innovations we have that we're showing here for power are our 15-watt wireless charger. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a... Uh, basically uh, wireless charging that we can embed. We're working with different people to embed it in seats or other um, uh, technology to deliver that uh, as a wireless way for all, you know, all our modern phones all have wireless charging capability. Right. And then also USB-C. USB-C is really amazing. You could, we could deliver 60 watts of power, which is typically what you would have done to charge a laptop right. or something like that through a, a, a AC power adapter, but now it's all through USB-C. So right. right there, simple wired connection from the USB-C outlet to your uh, modern tablet or to modern computer mm -hmm. to be able to power the computer. Yeah. So even on short flight, you can charge your phone right up. You can mm -hmm. uh, keep streaming your movies and doing everything like you normally would on the ground. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then finally, looking into the future a little bit, conceptual stuff. We're talking about Li-Fi. Yeah. So uh, we have a really cool uh, part of Astronix called PDT, and PDT uh, looks at emerging technologies that are a little bit out there and says, how can we apply this to aerospace as well? So LiFi is one of those, and they have a, a, a partnership with a company called Pure LiFi mm -hmm. that uh, they're able to take their technology and they've demonstrated putting that into a passenger service unit. So passenger service unit, um, through the light, existing light of that passenger service unit, they're able to deliver uh, high bandwidth uh, content. Uh, we're actually streaming 4K movies through the uh, through that light interface down to a, 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 a computer. That's wild. The future yeah. is now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much for your time uh, today, John, and for telling us a bit about some of these innovations. You're welcome. Thank you very much.